Hello everybody, I'm the Crusher and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. This will be part four. And yeah, we're about to meet Professor Garlic. And and, and oh I did explore a little bit of Hogsmeade before uh, between the last video and uh what's it called? I am uh, almost a level 16. Look at that, look how close I am. Level 15, look, I just I just need the tiniest little thing. I sold all my old gear. And and yeah, I have space for new slots Open and stuff. Is that okay? Wait, and then we gotta wait for class to start. Let's go. Oh yes, look at all this. So the plants are here and the peoples and everything. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh. What? They gotta wait again? Oh, quest begin. All right. <laughs> I did not see that. Oh yes, cuts. Look at it. Oh, oh! <laughs> now, of course, Good I have morning, seen this. Professor Garlic, how wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, hey. you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, oh, Professor uh, Garlic is treat for your gorgeous. Look at that. She's a redhead too. Oh, hello. Oh yes. Class, oh. please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. <laughs> I like that. I like How that thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. Dang, she's pretty, This ain't she? year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is Plants. knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Okay. Now then. Oh. Today, we'll be I mean, acquainting mm. ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh god, Accio. mandrake. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Is, with what little, little cotton swab? How does that protect your ears? Now, everyone, Grip their mandrake by the tendrils it and give like, it a um, firm tug. Like, like cauliflower. So mandrakes can apparently scream so loud if they they can kill you or cause permanent deafness or temporary deafness. So let's uh, be careful with this. Jesus Christ! It's like super loud to me. Oh my God! The wind is crazy. Quickly! It, it said right stick, but I use the left stick. I didn't even touch the right stick, but it still works. It still works. Look at that. Yeah, they, the out, they outgrew the old pot. The envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Dang, that was loud. Repair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Like nothing ever happened. I, don't you just love I'm very magic? Sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. Oh, it's fine. I took All it. All right then, off you go. Is it? Splendid work, everyone. Dang, how old is she? She got. Uh... How old am I? How, now, how old is my character? Our next task will be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. <laughs> Revelio. I wonder if hippogriffs like not. Talk, us. talk, professor. Talk about yes, going professor. out for a date. Firstly, well Maybe? done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. That was easy. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. Yeah. How kind of you. <laughs> it seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have I already some, have Professor. Some, yeah. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Of course. Let's like see actual time? how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy. Disney's restorative oh, properties make plastic. it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, ah, as you yes. all should know from Professor Sharp's class. All right, so I can use this as an ingredient to make more Wiganweld potions because, as you know, I am on the hardest difficulty, which is hard, and it is it is difficult. They they hit like 
they, they hit hard. They hit very hard. <laughs> well and done. I need more Once it potion. can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what uh, say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. Ah, uh, yes. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages <laughs> do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, nice. let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. Hey, hey, yes, it's just Professor. at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah, well, they can't, they're not called Chinese chomping cabbages for nothing. They chomp. Look at that. Got eight minutes left? Or technically nine. But... All right, let's go. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. Meet I'm Leander. Team. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Awesome. Nice work. Rebellion. That's against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright <laughs> slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. I thank you. Anyone, right? I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull <laughs> from crushing you? Yeah, yeah, I think he would have been Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with It's just from your pretend, And uh, Hufflepuffs too. At least you did. Hey man, I am the best Hufflepuff you've ever seen. Revelio. You will ever see, actually. I am the absolute greatest after all and everything. <clears throat> Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Didn't leave? Mallow sweet. I just collect all these, you know? Oh, hold on. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. Right, let me collect all of them first. Right, so we kind of already know how to use this. The left bumper and then these are throwable slash consumables. I need chomping cabbage. Need it towards them. How many do I need? Look at that. 26? Well, children, I need to get my mouth off. Dude, they do more damage than me. Mum planted some in her garden last year. Expelling all the stuff. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking yeah, daffodils in tatters. Oh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? <laughs> my kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Ooh, suppose I could go, Andy. Suppose imagine uh, oh, no. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing yeah. wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there, trolls and hogsmead and such. Yeah. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and <laughs> deathcap has more of them if you're keen. Oh. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Yes, 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 yes. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh, it died! You see in the bottom bottom left where it says I have seven? I have seven uh, Chinese chomping cabbages. But then it says zero out of three, so I can only deploy three of them at a time. So that's, that's how that works. That's a lock, yeah. Revelio. All right, let's go back to to the to the to the to the pretty pretty teacher. And that seems like a lot lot shorter way to go. We didn't have to go through all that. But and with yes, that helpful reminder as to oh, why we should minutes, always huh? wear our dragon hide gloves. Oh, dragon. We shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Teacher, I don't want to. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much <laughs> trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. Yeah, I can regenerate anyway. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Perhaps, perhaps a kiss? <laughs> oh, I love plants. Magical plants have so much to Especially offer. magical. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a 
bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, uh, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so oh, enjoy yeah, yeah, checking yeah. in with my new students. Hey, I love Professor Garlic. <laughs> I love all my kids. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Oh, yes, level 16 already. Look at that. Every level up gives you more, gives you health, 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 health. All right, where do we go now? I don't think I see any side missions I can collect. Uh, what? Oh, I just have the uh, meat natty. Required level four. Meat natty in the lower hug. Yeah, let's go do that right now. Or there's something in between that. Attend herbology class and then that, and then meet with natty. Natty Onai asked me to meet her at Hamlet called Lower Hogsfield, just south of Hogwarts. I should see what you want. Okay, but... Where... I do see some... Is there something back here? Oh, in the world map. Oh, yeah, that's... Right here. I kind of don't want to explore the world until... We get our own broom. Because this world is absolutely massive. Hold on, wait, we can see how much there is, hold on. 7 out of 33 collection chests, 69 out of 150 field guide pages, 0 out of 10 demi-guide statues, 0 out of 1 astronomy tables, what? Available quests, potions class. Well, uh, I would like to see where potions class is. Oh, there it is, finally it's popping up. Uh, right over here, I guess the closest one would be right here. Let's go. There you go, finally alone. Now we're off to meet Professor Sharp, was it? Actually, I should probably <gasps> equip it in quest. Because for some reason, it doesn't pop up until later. There you go. It seems like I should do other stuff before I do that mission with, with Natty. Ah, look at that. I don't think there's any fall damage, but I haven't I haven't been up I haven't fallen from too high. Maybe anyway. auras or someone from the starting school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black was loud. It would make him look completely Or hurry up and hurry up and open the door. Finally. Revelio. Oh. Right, Professor, you're gonna have to wait real quick. This the daily key is calling Oh, this one's much slower than the rest. I like that. Oh. There you go. Oh, it's right here. I mean, that side through the thing, but come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Honestly, just probably spamming this would probably do best for me. I do not have the reaction time for this. Sorry, little by little. I'm sorry, little little the daily and cheat. There you go. See, spamming works perfect. Takes a little bit longer, but. Actually, no, it's actually shorter than me just trying to wait because my. Rebellion. For some reason, my. Uh, well, I should, well, I mean, like I would know, but my reaction time is absolutely terrible. Alright, straight to Potions class to meet per with Professor Sharp, is it? Oh, I hear a jingling ring. Another page for me to help level up my crystal. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, come over here. Ha! I didn't even see it. Professor Sharp's Auror badge. Oh, he was an Auror? Or is? Or was? I guess he's a professor now. <clears throat> Aurors comprise of the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sort of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Auror badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Rebellion. They one ding a ling ling. Right, I guess let's wait or begin the quest. Whichever one this shows. Hold up, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Hold up, let me uh. Do that. Do that. Uh, read this if you can. It's, it's, it, it's, uh, I can barely follow, so just pause it, read it for yourself, and there you go. Oh, shoot, I, I, should, I should probably should have checked if there was a. A type. Rebellion. There was a button I could press that, that just made it like typed out. You know? Uh, 
Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Let's go. I'm up for the challenge. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? No, yes, really. Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. But not it can all. heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Oh, you know, so. Before oh, today's limp. class is what happened completed, when he was an each orange. of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. Yes, teach me. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. All right. Not even gonna tell us how. What? What did Professor? No. <laughs> right, let's do Use this. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Right, Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. A One errant sneeze meat. could be disastrous. Add a hork, add hork lump juice. Two drops. Oh, two more. Two more drops. Oh, three more drops. Five drops of hork lump juice in total. Stir the cauldron. Nice. How did I do, Professor? Huh? I'm a prodigy, I know, thank you. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> Look at that, brew my first... Mm. Not water. an easy potion to brew. Really? Well done. Thank you. And from what I hear of I your recent awesome. exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. I should. Professor Weasley <laughs> had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Yep. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be now purchased. We'll grind all of that off Others, camera. however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Alright, 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 alright. Wigan Wood Potion, baby. Yeah. Revelio. Collect Ashwinder. Oh, My parents considered enough. keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Ah. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Gareth Weasley. Uh, yeah. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm oh. Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure Thank to meet you. you. Wait, are you related yeah. to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Your Keeps aunt. too close an eye on me for comfort. <laughs> but she can't be everywhere. Listen, I, uh... anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. Wow. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. <laughs> You're as clever as I'd hoped. I yes. simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll Hooper. already be in Sharp's office with his permission. The bird Perhaps that you could grab it for me. makes you go insane. No, I'm good. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. No, I, I'm not gonna do that. I've enough Sorry. to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. But I mean, you can just go in and get it yourself. You, I, I walked in before the, the class even started. Remember, but I hope we can still be Revelio. Is that the food for failure? I mean, can I collect this for myself? I mean, I don't want it. I don't want it to well act badly. You know, always has a give it or force you to give it to me. Potions you know? are two things that cannot be rushed. And patience can be uh, thorough. Right there. Endurance potion. Let me. Hork lump juice. Where do I get my hork lump juice? I'll have to get that later. All right, thirty seconds. Just gotta wait around we here. And mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, what it's happening? not supposed to. Ah! 
What you did? Dragon dog. What happened? Dragon dog. <laughs> well done, Gary. Rebellion. Well done, Gary. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. Uh, That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Oh dang! I sure wouldn't want to be. Glad I'm not Gryffindor. No, kid. <laughs> I brewed the endurance potion like you asked. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay Edoras? on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. Oh, did you? He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. <laughs> I yeah, confess points, I was points, points. skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. Oh, I'm yeah? glad I was able I to meet your expectations. You. A rare occurrence. <laughs> and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. I know, In I addition have a to having going. a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Ah, Pay okay. particular attention in herbology. The plants herbology, you nurture yeah. there are often essential I, to the potions you brew here. Now, I, I recommend that you find a safe location in, in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. All righty, I think each of us has had enough excitement for one okay. day. Class is dismissed. Okay, can now can I take that fruit fruit feather? No, it's locked. I, oh well. Okay, I don't like it. I'm not. Wait, wait. I gotta go over here now. Okay. Uh, I am a bit Rebellion. bit lost again. Right, where, uh, where do where do where do where, where do I go now? Ooh. Hold up. Oh, yes. oh, I got another house token. That's right. I forgot about that. Mallow sweet leaves. I got the moonstone. All right, all right, all right. Get to the map. Oh, halfway to level six, seventeen, too. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna map. Let's uh, let's let's go to my house and put the uh, the potions in the 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 uh, let's put this thing in. Uh, right there, there you go. And then I guess, and then we'll we'll see what happens next. <coughs> All right, we are back in the Hufflepuff common room. I know it's around here. There you go. I got one more token. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Yeah, just need 14 more. Let's go. All right, anything else popped up? I don't think so, but uh, no, not map. I got started. I meant to do quests. There you go. Oh, nothing. Oh, uh, there you go. A ten potions class. There you go. Now I can meet with Natty actually. All right, let's go. Oh shoot! But how far? Oh my god, it's kind of fun. I know. Why? Why must he be so far? All right. We can go here. This is the closest we got. All right, let's go meet Natty. <clears throat> All right, we now let, let let let. I mean, we gotta we gotta start a run, but what's that? Rebellion. You hear that noise? Oh, oh, that's the friggin' background music. All right, let's go and see what Natty wants to talk about. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Really wish I had a broom. Meet Natty Onai in the lower in lower hogs field. Whew, sure gotta sure gotta run. Sure got quite a run. So oh shoot, maybe I should have followed the path. I should be fine, right? Shoot. And there was a teleportation point right here from where? Ah, shoot, I'm going the complete wrong way, aren't I? Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. <clears throat> ah, shoot. Uh, shoot, let's hope I'm not going anywhere too bad. Oh shoot! Well, let, let's test fall damage, shall we? Oh, there is fall damage. 
It's very little, but it definitely is fall damage. Oh, what's this? Leech juice. Rebellion. Don't mind if I do. What's this? Expelliarmus. The first outside puzzle. What? What? It won't go there. What oh, is this? Horrible lump of juice? Oh, yeah. I think it's sharp. Uh, oh, it's right around here. Fire? Do I need to use incendio on it? Incendio. I do. I want to hear. I should investigate. I should. We had the same idea, man. Ooh, first cave outside of things. Better not be an eyeball. That's it. One chest. Better be worth it. A stylish top hat. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let us see how much better it is than our uh, old hat. Which I'm obviously wearing, but not showing. Oh, it's legendary. Look, level 26 defense. That was better. 31 defense. Look at that. Brings the total to 88 defense. Nice. Oh. Uh, oh, gosh. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. There you go. And then I'm going to get out and then press X so I can get rid of the hat. There you go. Alright. Let's go. I still try to go in the- oh, there's something red over there? I do not want to fight whatever's in the water. I am not a water guy. Oh god. I don't like the slowness. Or it's the swimming. Oh, it looks like she's right over there. No, no, super easy. Super easy. It's right over here. Damn, man. It looks like there's a mission over there, too. Let me just get this faster point as well. Alright, let's go. Alright, Maddie, what do you want? It is good to see you, my friend. Good to see you too. I'll explore all this later. Well, so what do you Hello, want? Hello, Natty. How are you? How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. Oh, I'm fine. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm uh, alright a bunch moment. of nuggets. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh, yeah. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? <laughs> Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more right. thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. I'm on an adventure. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? It is. I think so. I'm still learning, but I can oh, I see traces get of it, control. and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. <laughs> and I will have more questions. And hopefully I'll For have the now, answers. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. <laughs> and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand <laughs> of my own. What sort of stand? Modern. Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. Oh. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. All right, let's go. Glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Right. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. Oh. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. <laughs> I yeah, also obviously. heard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Poachers. Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be so on your guard. Rebellion. Oh, what, 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 what is the mission over here? I beg your pardon. 
dare you threaten me? Oh, what's going on here? Woman's being threatened? Sounds like, sounds like, sounds like, sounds, sounds like I shouldn't read. It's hero time, baby. Come this way. Think. <laughs> oh, cutscene first. Okay. I've no <laughs> idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to speak to Rookwood. Don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Yeah. Mr. Rookwood would like no, a word too, yeah. with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Oh, don't you Leave dare, huh? Alone. That's right. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry, I got something for you guys. You come to the room tonight. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have used both. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, will ya? I like the way you're dressed, not gonna lie. Oh. The collection section in Field Guide has been updated with new with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insight on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Hey, I'm not going anywhere with you. You take this to a Oh shoot! I forgot I had incendio or not. been accosted in such a manner than so Sorry. close to Hogwarts. It's kind of kind of my fault, but you're right. evil, I'm good. That's I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Thank you. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to <laughs> dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who's Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued oh. my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Nice. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, <laughs> has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. Oh, I'll, I'll She's a traveling out. vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Yeah. Research. You're what a researcher. Research? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Oh. How extraordinary. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. No, and I'm dang, studying I know that. some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Ooh, trials of I Merlin. believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Nice. I love solving puzzles, not making them, but. Oh, fascinating. I can yes. see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, Ooh. I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. Really? But I'm gonna be the I first one. I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is Mallow. an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet. Start the trial. Versatile herb. I have three. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I, think. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each that. swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking. What if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Right. Would you, I mean, you care to, to do off, the but... honors? We can see huh? what comes of our little hypothesis. Where? How nice! You research this for I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, thank you. For mo free Mallow Sweet? Don't mind if I do. I only have a cup. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Oh, thank you. I have Five. Mallow Sweet. Five! Nice! Lovely. 
Now, notice the vines on the ground. It's like it's flat on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. All right. A little sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. My word! Did you see Dang. that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Oh, these two. All right, so I already know what to do, but these Merlin trials, these are going to be what uh, increase my maximum amount of uh, equipment carrying. So they will come down, the and I will have to swing them off. Ah, what's wrong with you? That's fine. But that one almost reached the ground. If it would have reached the ground, I would have had to start over. That a little bit. How beautiful! How beautiful indeed is that, Merlin? There you go, Merlin Charles. One out of six. I can hardly believe it. Ah. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. <laughs> how does it? Work. I must review my notes. Who, what, where, when, I may have why, missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to mm. solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Nice. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, yeah. which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. Thank and you for do be careful about these out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Right, so now with that, there will be more of these I will find around anywhere and more Ash Winders to fight. Um, oh, nice. Almost level 17 as well. Right, let's let's see who let's see let's see what the side mission is about the this 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 person next to Doc. A portrait Ooh. in our common room wants to talk to you. Oh, really? It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. Oh shoot! Anyone else? All right, let's just do this if it's quick. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness! Yes, my name oh. is Grace Pinch Smedley, of the Bath. Pinch Smedley's? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I don't know who. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. What is myself. that thing swimming in the water? You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? I mean, I'm, I am I'm absolutely terrified of swimming in the water, especially if there's creatures in it. But, uh... Uh, yeah. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. I just to tell Precisely more. Just, the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help <laughs> retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh, I'm gosh. so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A huh. treasured family astrolabe vanished with them Astral. that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I, don't know what that is. I may be able to bring my father some peace. Of course. Uh, should I know who your You seem is? to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. Oh dang, am I do I the Pinch Smedley name is rock? synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the Man, world I live around under us, a rock. Right. those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. I learned today. What is an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Oh. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Oh, dang. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits. 
but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, oh, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Oh, Can you Still, use we'd love it? to have it returned to us. It would be like Does getting rid of my grandparents. Get back. rid of rust? Yeah, I'll do it. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. <laughs> but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Oh. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged <laughs> location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess cool. is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. And you will get it back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Oh, uh, yeah. As long as that thing in the water doesn't come for me. I think this is the fastest I could swim, by the way. Oh. Wait, hold up. I saw something. What is this? Oh, it's just for rock skipping? Are you serious? Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Let's go right over there. Let's go. Let's go. Keep moving. Okay, so that is the fastest I could swim. Come on. Let's go. This must be where oh. the pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Let's go. Around this area, there's a lot of are those bubbles where I can loot. Oh, it's a legendary cat. What's under here? Yeah, I don't see any more bubbles. I do not see any more bubbles. There's one right there. Eh. 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 All right. I don't see any more though. That's the third one so far. Is that one right there? Yeah, it is. Eh. Come on. Eh. They're so hard to see. I think it's getting nighttime, which should make it easier to see them. Oh, there you go. Oh, three one of potions? And an astrolabe. Nice. Is that everything? I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Yes, I should. Okay, let's go. Back to the docks. Come on. Uh, swim with all your might. In the robe. <laughs> let's go. Come on. Yeah. Even if it is just a sentimental value. Whether it's not important to me, it is important to someone else. And I did get a bunch of restuff, so... Ah, eh. Little wiggle, wiggles, wiggles. Uh, like a penguin, let's go. Yeah! Oh, I hate water. Oh! Three leech juice, don't mind if I do. Don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but. ABG, as I say, always be gathering. Well, not as I, I got Trust it from Slip Gator. find the dive too terribly difficult. No, it was easy. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Huh. Thank you so much for doing this for me and for my family. It never you hurts do to well help. to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all <laughs> sorts of things down there. Hey, I'm a diver now. Let's Thank go. you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I know. Thank you. Thanks for the 160 XP, I think it is. Yeah. Oh, 180. That's more. Let's go look at it. Already <laughs> almost to level 17. <laughs> the more I level up, the stronger I get. And the more health I get. Come on. That's what I need because this this is tough. Oh, what is this? Okay, so another rock. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Oh, yeah? You need help dispatching them? Arn. Pardon Dropper. me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. Yeah. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. Uh, I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, 
Bloodshed is not the answer. When I said oh, as much, they like turned the on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. <sighs> Has before? Ragnarok's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. I feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Sure. You're a painter. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. An artist. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I will get it for you. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind Evil of you. I think pay. they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Right. It so was nice meeting you. Very far away. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Yeah, 500 meters. <laughs> Revelio. I will, I will, I will do it, but not, not right now. It's, it's, it's way too far for me right now. But I will. I do have it collected, so I can look at it whenever I will. I want to get on with the main story quickly, but we're. I got strong chest in this fucking thing. Oh, how did I miss that? Collect everything I can right here. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Ragnarok. Or Ranrock, not Ragnarok. Rebellion. You went to your own kind, huh? Just because they don't agree. They did nothing to you. But you oh, I'm sorry, little kid. Was that he was at your house? <laughs> oh, man. Insane. Rebellion. Oh, chicken. Oh, hold on. Incendio. I love chicken, I'm sorry. Chicken, I'm sorry. Chicken, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chicken. Chicken, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Revelio. Out of the animals are invincible. There is a shop here. So I could. Oh, I thought I got stuck. I should be able to sell what stuff I do have. Oh, basket we yeah, I do like how that looks a bit. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me equip the new stuff that I got, that I have gotten currently. Uh, got more gloves. Oh, it's actually not as good. Oh, dang, I did not know that. So far, everything I've been getting has been the same or better, but now, recently, it's been the opposite. Holy shoot, except I need to be level 17 for this, but this is the same level again. An attribute, anyway. Equip that. Don't mind if I own oh, oh, the hat. <laughs> oh, it's a nightcap. Look at that. No new scarf. A new robes, though. Is it better? Oh, it is better. Equip. Then put on my Hufflepuff thing. There you go. This one. Oh, nothing new for that one. Oh, new wand handle. Is it better than the one I. Do I like it better than this? Do not like that. Oh, I do like that, but is it better than that? Oh, no, I like that way better. All right. Uh, yeah, let's let's sell what we got. Fuck. Fuck. There you go. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my oh. potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Oh, can you now? Uh, yeah, let me see. Any whispers hear. going about the town? 
You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Oh, dude. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. Oh, yeah. Better than most other places, too. How humble. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. What? My price is low enough already, you see. Oh, I, I mean, I guess. What do you have for sale? <laughs> I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> <laughs> my ingredients are I all local it. to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Is it all local? I can just collect my own then. Uh, let, let what me do see. you have for sale? I'm pretty much probably only going to sell you stuff, but... Yeah, tree toes and... Uh, 200 gold, look at that. Look at that, oh, look at that. I might as well sell everything lower. I'll have no this trouble selling this. Thank you. This is lower. I, ha I have no need for anything that's lower. The same, but higher level. Lower, lower, or same. Lower, all right. It's almost 4,000 galleons. I hope to see you again sometime. All right, let's, uh, let, let's, let's see where can we go now. I don't really want to explore much of uh, um, around the map outside of Hogwarts uh, until I get a broom. This is interesting information. All right, let's go do this then. Let's go do this. It is a main story mission. It said mission above love. I do not get what that would mean. Was it in the common room? It is in the common room. There you go. Oh, let's go. All right, let us see what they want now. Yes. What would you want, sir? What do you want, sir? You wanted to see me, sir. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldridge Diggory, former minister for magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. Nice I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder. Oh, thanks can to you know? book you found, and in particular, so how do you know about missing that? pages. How do you know about the book yeah. and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. <laughs> so, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself will ah, be yes. inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Yes, of course. Justice must be served. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's oh. retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. Oh, I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Yes. But, uh... How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages. But they never found the body. Oh, damn. A girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems oh. those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Great niece, thanks. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. Oh, she and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No oh, offense, yeah. but it's what nice to get away portraits? from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. I do not understand that. When were you minister? When were you the minister for magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 oh, to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, so they seem to have all the memories of... Didn't have the of, chance to the... do all that I could. Yeah. I was in the midst of performing Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. Oh, damn. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. Hey, right, I shall go and go. see her right away. Brilliant. I got nothing With else. what I suspect is your knack for hard work and I need a, I need mind, to get a broom and both stuff mysteries possible. may be solved sooner than you think. But of course! I shall right. see you there. Soon, I hope. Of course, of course. And right, I got at least 30 minutes left to record. All right, the oh, wait, how far is it? I might, I might just uh, fast travel there. 
I should have pressed the back button instead of set. Holy smokes. That is uh, quite, quite a run. When do I get my broom? Alright. Let's go over there. I will point there for now. I think I'll get that anyway. Let's get this. Alright, and then we can teleport here. Uh, hugs need. Right there. This is the closest. Let's go. All right, we are in Hogsmeade, North Hog, North Hogsmeade. It's a, uh, it's just gonna be a sprint there. So, uh, should I cut? Or should I just keep talking like I've been doing? Rebellion. I don't know, but I do see things I can get that are not inside this building. A few galleons never hurt anyone. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Ash Winder eggs. Winder, Winder. Oh, it's you, motherfucker, huh? You, oh, you want some? You want some little sneaky mix sneaks? Was I far away enough? Yes, I was. Get me. Sorry. Rebellions are much needed. I'm poor. But let's go. <laughs> I can't. This is, this is the only way I can make money. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, you know what? I think I will cut, so I will see you guys there. All right. Um, I didn't go too far. I for a cup of mushroom tea. I found these people. It appears to be at least four. I could sneak past them, but I could also sneak behind them and instantly kill them. Who's there? I deserve better than patrol duty. Yeah. Oh, Who's shit. there? Not quiet enough. How? Ah! ah. I'm so busy. I'm busy. Akio. Incendio. One. I will make you. Love you. Ah. Incendio. Come on. Huh? I gotta focus real hard, man, because I'm not. I'm not too good at this. Incendio. No. Are you the last one, bud? Let's go. Too late. You've learned the error of your ways. Rebellion. To learn the error of your way. Ooh, this is this was just just a little loyalist camp or Ragnarok 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 loyalist camp. All right, so we'll cut again until we get there. Oh, hello there. Um, I did not mean to do that. That was just a little campfire. Okay. I would so appreciate a little more. Oh yes. I didn't see you had a side mission. Let's talk. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I don't know what a grim but not is. safe. But if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I, I need is an invisibility potion. I don't, I don't have one of those. That's what I need. I'm all out. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful? Uh, yes, that makes sense. And you're <laughs> sure you don't... No. Very well. I mean, if I get one, I'll be sure to... Hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me first. Alright. <laughs> Alright, now again, I'll, I just made it to this little thingamajig. So now, let me just... Uh... Oh, gosh, I need to do the same thing again. For some reason it won't say, is it because I marked something else? Yeah, I should be, that should, should be telling me where it is, why isn't it telling me? Oh, there it is. Now, I am traveling at night time, which isn't safe, but, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. Alright, let's, uh, let's go in, I'll, I'll cut 
again when I get there or until something interesting happens. So I'll see you guys there, alright? Would you look at that? I think Rebellion. I found something at least. What is what is this? Oh, uh 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 few witches or wizards correct correctly trace the history of Scotland's indigenous mazes back to their rightful source. The fifteenth century dark wizard known as Unan Blackwood. Born uh, born Unan Wood to a non magical branch of the Wood family, Unan was misunderstood by his muggle parents and, in an effort to fit in, sought some place in the family trade hedge trimming. He could um, allegedly control the blackthorn bushes with his mind, creating beautifully designed designs with ease. This both impressed and infuriated his rather tolerant intolerant family their resentment only worsened upon young Anon's invitation to Hogwarts where he was sorted into Hufflepuff house oh does that mean it was at Hogwarts that Unon first met one Artistima Artismia Black this disowned oh disowned by the Black family for her mother's uh the Mother's uh, da balance with Artemis's muggle's father. I am trying. Uh, the half blood Artemis's relationship with blood purity was a complex one. She considered herself worthy of her mother's maiden mother's mother's maiden name, and blamed her father for her obstruction. At the same time, she, uh, she did not fault Wood for his muggle parentage. But rather considered him to an unwillingly in innocent victim of Muggle impurity. Oh my God! Dang man, those 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 <laughs> pure wizards are crazy. Rebellion. That was it. That was just a story. What am I supposed to do with this? Just burn it down. Incendio. Let me also. Huh. Oh shoot! That's, this is a maze, look! Oh shoot, this is actually sick! Wait, wait, I just went through! Was that secret passage? It was a little bit of a secret passage, but... I mean, that's where that chest is. Honestly, I'm already lost, not gonna lie. I do terrible in mazes. Uh, uh, there was, there was a secret passage and he saw me go through that one. What? Look at that though, dude, that's crazy, I've never seen this before. Now, I'm basically here too, by the way, so there's that. Rebellion. Oh, I thought the chest would be... Oh, what's the point of that maze? A page? When I rebelled, I didn't see nothing. Uh, all right, let's get let's let, let's just get on with the mission. All right. Oh, let me find the flu flame first. This must be the place this. Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Let me get this first. Thank Welcome you. to Upper Hogsfield, charming hamlet. Thank you. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Oh, don't say that. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I Hello, was Dorothy. just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Oh, no. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Oh, God. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. Oh, no. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Oh no. I'd help search for him okay. myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. <laughs> they seem to be everywhere. It's fine. I'm, uh, they're, they're quite easy to beat. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. 
Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instinct so that he's been held captive or worse. Oh god, it's fine. I'll see what I can do. I can certainly not right now. for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Aww. All right. Revelio. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. <laughs> I'll keep a lookout. Can I see your valuables? You wouldn't mind, right? I mean, I'm, I'm a hero, you know, I'm... <laughs> Not bad, this. There you go. Oh, there was a bag I missed. Don't mind if I do. And then I saw one over here. Again, don't mind if I do. Rebellion. <laughs> I'm not stealing, alright? I'm just looting. The video game, alright? <laughs> I, need, I need everything I can get my hands on. Oh, come on, it's not in this house, then where is it? Oh no, it is. What is that? What's stools? I heard a little ping and a ting. Oh, more side missions for me? Don't mind if I do. Oh shoot! What? Lumos, and then follow the bridge? Light those candles? Hmm, a map. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. Isn't that right? Oh, I love that accent. What is it? Scottish? Irish? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's do that first. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. <laughs> I'm Claire Bowman. I love that accent. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I was simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. Oh, God. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near oh. them. Fine, I'll destroy them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Oh. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. Oh God, he's I gone really to hope seek he's okay. Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. A doubtful. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. All right, so the first. Oh, shoot, there's another mission I have to collect? It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Uh, I already used the wig in World Potion. Where's the door to this place? Oh. All right, so somebody's got a mission for me in here? Rebellion. Here you are. I'm pleased to see oh. you took my advice. Yes. Uh, read that if you want. Uh, positive. I'm not, I'm not going to read that. Oh, I'll take an apple. Don't mind if I do. Let me just uh, read that also if you want. Pause it if you want. I'm not going to read that. I'll collect those galleons though. Hold up, let me finish looting everything first, please. Read that as well, I'm not gonna read that. I think last but not least, 
pause this too because I am not going to read that. I am not going to read that. I'm going to give you a little, little time to pause. There you go. Rebellion. That's this. All right, yes. What would you want, Miss Helen? Madam Thistlewood. Thistlewood. I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Yes. Very well. I'm listening. Detective Decades. Simmer is on the case. A student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, oh, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. Oh, it was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. Oh, that is. sounds terrible. That does I'm sound not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted oh, section? Peeves. If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series <laughs> of puzzles he'd prepared. Oh, I like a solving girl. puzzles. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Oh, damn. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. Oh, no. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. Well, she will trust you, me. A student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Okay. I'll come to Azkaban if it will save her. Yes. What a horrible story. I'm a pure. If you think I can pure. help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. <laughs> I've escorted what? ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never We're going to ask to admit, that? but I will keep you safe. Oh shoot! Yeah, tell me more. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people what? in the ministry, along with the fact that Anne the is muggle-born, sealed her fate. As in the I'd headmaster? like to know more about Anne. I just that put that together. <laughs> so never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit <laughs> proved to be her undoing. Thanks. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. I shall. Detective Schirmer is on the case. You said Jack Dor's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to get he's tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Oh dang. Alright, let's go. Very well. Let's go. Let's go to Steady Ashkaban. yourself. We'll apparate together. Oh god. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Alright. Do take care now. And tread lightly in that horrible place. Right, we'll you. be there in but a moment. Alright, so let's go. Let's go to Azkaban, everybody. Oh look at that, we're here in Azkaban now, I'm moving. Oh, the 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 mentors, the mentors. There's no evil in my soul. Oh, I need a little. Are they attacking us? That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. 
This really yeah, is I a need to learn. I want to learn Expecto we'll Patrol. We'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. All right. The Dementals won't harm us now. Still, be careful. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. I mean, I guess. But I am out of time right now, so uh, uh, I think I, I think I should be able to save it. But if not, I think I'll have to restart all this. But that that will be the end for this video, guys. Subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.